Well, good evening. Thank you for being with us. Three people who did so much for the church over the centuries. Three amazing people from the legacy of the Cistercians and Bernard and Catherine and William Booth. Oh, goodness me. Great people indeed. So a moment <coughs> we will begin. Let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A moment of silent reflection. And as we think of the things that have gone wrong this day, we come before the Lord and we pray together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. There is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take to the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me, your hand shall hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. 
My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. <coughs> your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they're more in number than the sand, and at the end I'm still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 9 and 10 God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So we bring the day before the Lord. We say, Holy Spirit, be present in us, surround us, uphold us, bless us, bring us your peace, we pray. And as we do, Father, we pause for a moment and we welcome your presence. We invite your wholeness and healing and health. Though you were never gone, Lord, make us conscious of your presence with us this night as we prepare to go to our beds. Father God, as we reflect on all that this day has been. Father, as we reflect on the encounters, the blessings given and received, the struggles, the challenges, the things that have caused us pain, caused us sadness the places where we found ourselves with no answers and the times this day when we have fallen short and marred your image in us. Father God, we bring all that this day has been, all that we are, and we lay at the foot of the cross everything, the good, the bad, the sad, the ugly, the unhappy. Father God, we 
thank you for serving you ministering your love and grace is not the call of a priest or a bishop not the call of the important people in church but Lord serving you is the call of the laity the laos God's people us Father God this night as we come to prepare for our beds we give you thanks that we the ordinary people in isolation are vulnerable and fragile in union with you are empowered with your Holy Spirit in on and round us we are a force to reckon with for good for God for the love of the God made flesh Jesus the Christ for father when one person of God stands with another and they stand with another and another and another the church with the capital C is there that we the laity we are the force which serves we are the force who serve God not just in the passing moments of a church service or praying or reading a Bible or a daily passage but we serve you in all that we are all that we have all that you have given us and father the examples tonight that we consider Bernard the man who revolutionized things and in the Cistercians made a mark for service a sacrifice for good and for God and Catherine and William Booth two people from my native London people who ministered in an area minutes walked away from where I grew up with the drunks and the homeless in a place where still the most numbers of murders in London have ever taken place on one street they came and as William Booth once said if I could but take those who wish to be a Salvation Army officer to hell for five minutes that would guarantee a lifetime of ministry of mission and evangelism Father God I thank you we thank you that tonight the ordinary made extraordinary us transformed by the blood of the Lamb who today have fallen have failed have got it wrong maybe in the most amazing ways are redeemed by the blood of the lamb and as we wake tomorrow to a new day to a new engagement with your love father God made real for us through Christ and the power of the Spirit father we will be different So as we go to our beds, Father God, help us to celebrate the small miracles today. Those victories over our own selfish human nature. Those moments of unity in the brokenness of our own lives, perhaps. And the moments of thinking of those we love. There's a brief flash of pain when we remember that they are gone. Touches us. Father, I thank you that God, as we understand you, is not about religion, it's not about rules, it's not about filling your church pews or your church coffers. 
but it's about being interested in people coming alongside as the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit the Parakletos comes alongside well, that's what the word means Father as we thank you for the day as we forgive those who have wounded us as we crave forgiveness for the wounds we have released Father pour your spirit over us give us peace Heal our wounds, our brokenness, our fears. Hear our cries, our prayers for those we know and love who need a touch from you. And Father God, use us and all like us, the laos, to stand together as church and to change this poor, sad, broken world and to care for the earth as we are called to do as stewards of this creation. So Lord, wrap your arms around us, rock us, sing over us, bring us your peace now. Merciful Redeemer, who by the life and preaching of your servant Bernard rekindled the radiant light of your church, grant us in our generation, in our day, to be inflamed with that same spirit of discipline and love, and ever to walk before you as children of light. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us tonight, guys. The words that have appeared are true. You were prayed for, you were loved, you were treasured and valued. Thank you for being part of my life. Thank you for being part of our church life. May the love of God and his peace of Christ and the indwelling of the Spirit be with you this night, and may you wake to a day of joy and blessing tomorrow. Night, guys. <laughs>